The country is predicted to suffer a shortage of up to 124,000 healthcare physicians over the next 12 years, according to the Association of American Medical Colleges. But here at Rocky Vista University, the HOSA event is bringing in young Montanans, inspiring them to bridge that healthcare gap. As far as I can remember, if somebody asked me what I wanted to do, I wanted to be a doctor. Future healthcare professionals. In the future, I'd like to go into neuroscience or maybe neurosurgery. I'll be pursuing a degree in public policy and trying to tie public health into that. Coming together to show their skills. <laughs> looking at NASA and things that they're doing with like astronauts. There's different neurosciences that go into building, like building helmets for space exploration like Mars. If we ever do send people to Mars, there would have to be neurostimulants and helmets and stuff like that. Boston McDonald has long been on the receiving end of healthcare and knows in a rural state like Montana, access can be a challenge. Just from my own medical experience, I know that since it's more of a rural area, there's not many advanced medical capacities here. Yeah. So. It's very common for people to have to go to Minneapolis mm -hmm. or even places like Denver, Colorado, like I have. The sophomore at West High recently beat lung cancer. I'm doing perfect. I've been in remission for a little over eight. Now she's focusing on the future and how she can make a difference. It interests me to help people. Which is exactly what Montana HOSA State Director Katie Meyer loves to see. These events are just so exciting to see the kids excelling and, and really working hard. On Wednesday and Thursday at Rocky Vista University, Montana HOSA held its annual state leadership conference. Most of students here have an expressed interest in health care and spend this whole school year kind of in their local communities uh, working on those skills. It's a way to bring the students into the medical community and hopefully convince them to stay. A lot of our, our rural areas, um, you know, our kids don't have access even probably to a hospital within, you know, 100 miles of them. And so it's that exposure piece of getting to see all that and then hopefully having them return into these communities where we have a hard time, you know, hiring health care providers. Luckily, students like Jack Milroy and Boston McDonald are working to change that. 52 of our 56 counties are uh, in a deficit for healthcare workers. I definitely want to go out of state for my education and then try to come back and try to alleviate that deficit. I'd love to come back to Billings. It would be nice to just come here and help expand that medical field yep. for other people. In Billings, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.